Iowa Secretary of Agriculture announced a new program today that would allow smaller Iowa meat and poultry processors to sell their products in other states. Channel 13's Laura Barczewski takes us inside a famous Iowa meat locker that wants to be part of it. People have told me all my life that I'm full of baloney. Now I've made a business out of that. Meet Jerry Rorda. He owns Intveld's Meat Market in Pella, famous for... The baloney in our summer sausage has won state competitions and in uh, state fair competitions. Um, our dried beef. Um, same, we're grand champion dried beef this year at the Iowa Meat Processors Convention. Um, our sticks, our jerky. Jerry's business is just one of 68 eligible meat and poultry processors that could be selling their products outside of Iowa next year, thanks to a new program introduced by Iowa Secretary of Agriculture Mike Nag. It just opens up a whole a whole gamut of stuff that we can now distribute, or as we were locked into the borders of the Iowa before. Secretary Nag says for meat and poultry processors to sell out of state, they would need to have federal inspections. But under this program, they'd only need to be inspected by the state. This program is something this portion of the industry requested. It was something that we then investigated at the Department of Ag to see what could be done. And we found that we could uh, pursue a program with the USDA to allow this to happen. So I think this is a great example of where uh, we heard from the industry, uh, we responded, and now we're, we're uh, headed in a direction that allows them to grow their businesses. Not only will Intvelds be growing their business beyond state lines, they're also expanding their store right here in Iowa. We bought the building next door. We're going to expand um, our deli and into a restaurant next door. Um, Tune in next year, probably for that. In Pella, Laura Barczewski, Channel 13 News. Secretary Neg says eligible processors will be able to sell to other states sometime next year. Once the application process is complete, Iowa will be the sixth state in the country to have this type of program. Welcome, I'm David Geiger. Iowa has a billion dollar livestock industry, which it often exports out of state. But small meat processors here still generate millions in sales, even though they aren't allowed to ship their pro products to other states. Well, the Iowa Department of Agriculture is trying to change that through a new program. We're down at Invelds in, uh, in Pella, a great example of uh, uh, somebody who's known uh, for the, the products that they, they produce, and we want people outside of the state of Iowa to have a chance to buy these products. Iowa has applied for a Cooperative Interstate Shipment, or CIS, agreement with the USDA Food Safety and Inspection Service. Iowa meat processors, livestock producers, and farmers market producers joined together and asked the Iowa Secretary of Agriculture for the opportunity. The program allows participating state inspected meat and poultry processors to distribute products across state lines, giving more opportunities to choose Iowa meat products. Our current biggest customers are High V and Fairway, and the meat market managers are like nomads. So they work at a store for a while and they'll go someplace else as a promotion and a lot of those guys get used to or love our product and then they go to a store that's out of state and then they call us and want us to ship them product. Rorda gave a tour of the processing equipment behind the storefront. Iowans argue state inspections are held to the same standards as federally inspected processors despite being much smaller so they should be able to sell in the same ways. To qualify for the CIS program, a meat processor must have fewer than 25 full-time employees and comply with all federal food safety, sanitation, and facility regulations. Right now, there are only five states participating. In this case, we're talking about expanding markets for livestock producers and meat processors in the state of Iowa. Uh, right now, uh, state-inspected facilities can only sell products within the state of Iowa. The formal application for CIS is the first of several steps to finalize the agreement, with the changes likely to go into effect in 2020. Infeld would like to sell its beef sticks, jerky, and award-winning summer sausage across the country. Rorda thinks the CIS program will allow them to pursue new opportunities, especially online. So that will allow us to ship product into different states as well. And once it gets there, it can enter commerce again, so they can resell it, which is a big part of, uh, of this whole plan is to, to bring Iowa product back into commerce in other states. 
Well, grains are seeing some gains to start the week. Analyst Jamie Kowaki has the details.